A nasty New Year's Eve and day. All right, thank you, Carson. You're taking a live look now at Washington, D.C., where debates over stimulus checks for Americans will continue today. Last night, the House voted to increase one time checks to $2,000 instead of $600. Well, now it moves to the Senate. Minority leader Chuck Schumer says Democrats are on board. Republicans blocked a similar measure to increase the amount of stimulus checks on Christmas Eve, but some now say they support it. Schumer will request unanimous consent to pass the bill. In the meantime, Thousands of people across the country are still dealing with unemployment. And as the numbers of COVID cases rises, the Labor Department is making adjustments to help you with your claim. Let's go ahead and bring in Way 31 Sarah Phillips live this morning with the details on what you need to know about these changes going into effect. Sierra. Today is the last day for in-person appointments with the Alabama Department of Labor. After today, on Monday, those appointments will switch to just on the phone. But like Marie just mentioned, this new coronavirus relief bill will have some changes, so you need to be prepared before you make those phone calls and set up those appointments. The federal COVID relief bill extended unemployment benefits. You don't need to reapply for the new package if you already are set up to get unemployment benefits from the old one, even though it did expire on Saturday. Now, an Alabama Department of Labor representative explained that right now they're waiting on federal, the federal government for money and instructions on how to distribute that money. She said they probably won't have that information until after the new year. Those benefit programs will be extended and additional federal money will be available. But we can't implement it or issue those payments until we receive guidance from USDOL. That's the tricky bit. So we're waiting for them and we're trying to get our ducks in a row on our system so we'll be able to get that money out as fast as possible. Keep in mind, you do have to show that you are actively looking for employment to get those benefits. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News.